Do you think that Kyrie is worth all of this drama? No, he's not. He's not worth it at all. A matter of fact, um, let me say this straight up and down. I think Kyrie Irving should retire. I think he should announce his retirement today. Clearly, you don't want to play basketball bad enough. Now, you might still want to get the $33.4 million, obviously, uh, devoid of uh, some of the docked pay you'll receive because uh, you've, you haven't complied with uh, safety protocol measures, and as a result, the league is going to determine when you come back instead of yourself, uh, or taking personal leave and obviously forfeiting game checks or whatever the case may be. But still in all, at the end of the day, you know what, you're still going to get, you know, in excess of $20 million at the very least, even though you're on the books of $33.4 million this year. Kyrie Irvin has not prioritized basketball. I'm not saying he doesn't. the NBA and the playoff races that I've been watching and what I saw yesterday transpire, okay? We'll start out west where the Dallas Mavericks rallied from 22 points down last night to beat the Rockets 147-136 in overtime. Kyrie Irving led the charge scoring a season high 48 points as the Mavs held onto the sixth seed in the conference. The loss also eliminated the Rockets from playoff contention. Let me say this. Props to Ime Udoka, the head coach for the we know how moribund they were before he arrived. They were competitive for the most part throughout the season. Major, major props to him and the job that he's done. And I have no doubt he's going to be relevant in years and years and years to come. Now let me get to the Dallas Mavericks, who are fifth seed, who if the playoffs were to begin the day, will be going up against the Los Angeles Clippers. With the Clippers being the fourth seed, Dallas being the fifth seed, not necessarily having home court advantage, but I don't think it would mean a damn thing. Here's the reason why. Because Kyrie Irvin has been spectacular. And we know what Luca has been. Luca, for those of you who don't know, is all right, all right, all right, man. Enough of Stephen A. Talking his shenanigans, man. It's crazy. Isn't it crazy? It's crazy when you either you know basketball and you say, like, legit stuff about basketball and you actually can see basketball happen and you know what it takes to build a team around a specific player and you know that sometimes things are narrative driven and it's amazing whenever you just say stuff to say stuff, right? And uh, Stephen A. Smith is a complete example of saying stuff just to say stuff and having no merit behind anything or behind any of anything that he'd be saying. Anyway, man, I just wanted to open the show with that. Let me know if the, the light in the background bothers y'all. I can switch it up, whatever the case may be. But anyway, this is your boy TGK here on TGK TV. And this is your Dallas Mavericks pregame show. What we do as much talking about the Mavericks one hour before tip off. For those watching, consider yourself as a co-host of the show. Whatever you want to comment, ask me about, get a perspective on. Let me know, but put a TGK in your comment. That way I know you're trying to get my attention and uh, leave a like on the video it goes a long way The earlier the likes the better because then it gets this to more people out there that are that are watching and it is an early game today So not everyone's gonna be available. Not everyone's gonna get the notification So the, the quicker the likes the better that way we get more people up in here to hang out with us and uh and, and kick it with us for a minute All right, man, you already know I like to start the show reading some comments see how people are doing uh let's see here let's see here uh oh we got tmp in the building what's up tmp <laughs> say yo yes sir you already know man salute to tmp uh he has his own channel talking all things mavs especially uh post game shows and then one-off videos y'all go check him out great content creator man salute to my guy richard case is in the building uh oh he says, uh, we should have this, uh, all Hornets have, is Brandon Miller and a bunch of injury-riddled scrubs. Their coach couldn't even wait to get out of there. Jordan, too. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy how Jordan runs his operation, and um, and it just, it's, it's been such a failure franchise for a while. Which case says, we, we should probably sit Luka and Flat, and whoever needs it, let Dwight, Maxie, and the kids get some play. They should be able to handle the Hornets. 
I think you could play Luka and Kyrie with for the first three quarters and get a good substantial lead. But again, no lead is safe in the NBA, and this is also a Grant Williams comeback game unless he is out tonight. I don't know. I don't know. I, I ain't. You got to get every win you get. I say get the 50, and then you can start resting. You know what I'm saying, Richard? Get the 50 wins, and then rest. The quicker you get the 50, the quicker we can rest. Lockbox Entertainment in the building. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? It says, uh, TGK, uh, Grant going to try to show out tonight. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I know. I, I have a feeling about that, too. I have a feeling about that, too. Noah in the building. Acknowledge me. Said so, TGK off topic, but J. Cole is a sucker. I can't respect them. That was the most softest, cringiest thing I've seen. How do you diss back then make an apology? Eminem would never, 50 Cent would never. Noah, let me let me tell you, bro. I'm glad you said that. Because the hip hop I grew up on, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, 50 Cent. I grew up on 50 Cent. Put it like that. I, you know. Yes, that's 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 my era. You know how you know how much street cred 50 would have lost during that time if he apologized to Ja Rule? J, bro, J. Cole being one of my favorite artists of all time, I am genuinely disappointed by that. Like, I... Like, J. Cole, no one was going to kill you, bro. <laughs> no one was going to hurt you. But I understand he found some resolve, and I applaud him for, for uh, to him for that aspect of it. But this is hip-hop, bro can't be apologizing after this like what kind of nah dog kill him with kindness i guess uh no it says Keyshawn johnson at again he needs to stick to football seriously yeah i saw that mess today i saw that mess um i don't i don't get it how he's still on that show being allowed to talk basketball you know i don't get it i don't get it and uh unfortunately i would love to show y'all what they said but Anytime I show and dispute it on here, they, they try to take down my video. Uh, no says, TGK, our chemistry is on point. I loved when XM hit that shot and Kyrie got everyone to join a huddle. That's leadership. And Luca was playing with bloody knees again and played great defense. Yeah. You know, I was wondering why he has bloody knees. You know, I thought he had like some secret procedure or any, something like that. But uh, even with, uh, even when like the protective, uh, like uh, compression pants, you can still, uh, you know, scuff your knee on a, on, on a hardwood. I've done that before, but not to that extent to where my knees be bleeding, you know? So, like, it's crazy. Uh, off topic again, but Roman uh, fans can cry now. It's Cody's era. The main event of that WrestleMania was, like, movie, but I only wish Stone Cold was in. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that, honestly, that would have made it the, probably is one of the greatest endings to a match, but Stone Cold out there just would have taken it to another level. I, I was a little genuinely disappointed by that. But Undertaker's cool. It's just Undertaker dressed in like regular attire. It didn't do it for me. It didn't do it for me. Uh, no, if the fifth seed is solidified, then uh, we should rest our players because I don't want to risk nobody getting injured. We already got lively injured. We can't lose another big piece. Agreed. Agreed. The, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. That's that's the side of, um, of this coin that I'm on is if the Mavericks do get the 50 wins... I say, I say rest them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't see the point to, uh, I don't see the point to keep playing them if you already guarantee the top six spot, you know? That, that's my perspective on it. Frank's in the building. <laughs> Frank says, uh, TGK, just watch if statistically Grant is a little better than PJ. The haters are going to say Mavs lost a trade, which I'm fine because I'll take PJ's impact. Facts. <laughs> totally facts right there on that one. Daniel in the building. What's up, Daniel? This is Gold Mavs. Hey, Noah. Afternoon, everyone. What's up, Daniel? Hope you're doing, you're having a good night tonight, man, or a good day today. It is early, bro. Normally, I have my, my nap to start the day. I mean, when I get at home, I normally nap about 30 minutes before I start doing any show prep. I had to get home, start show prep. Yeah, I was, I was, I was out of it, dogs, for a second. Uh, you... Ewing Allen says, uh, man, in order for us to compete, we need D. Lively fit as soon as possible. Yeah, man. Especially in the playoffs. I say save him for the playoffs. There's no point to rush him back. Jamanesh, 214. Time to black out on the, on the Hornets for sure. Gina Kim is in the building. What's up, Gina? Daddy, chill. 
said, hey, TGK, can't wait to see PJ versus Grant. I hope Mass fans don't hate on Grant too much. It just didn't work out here, and we have to move on. Third option, PJ incoming, though. Yeah, um, I, I don't, I honestly, I don't think we should hate on uh, Grant Williams. I don't, I don't have any hate for him, you know? Like, it just didn't, it just didn't pan out, and that's really all it comes down to. Like, for any Mass fans that are, like, talking down on Grant Williams or trying to, you know, make him feel worse about the situation. Like, that's just downright evil. Like, without Grant Williams, you don't get P.J. Washington. You probably have to give up one of your young assets, and Grant Williams was one of your young assets. A first-round pick was one of your young assets. But without Grant Williams, that trade doesn't get done. So, he, he was a good guy here, man, and um, he just wasn't working out, bro, at the end of the day. And I think he's he's admitted that uh, uh, recently, so it's no bad blood on mine, bro. I'm, I'm thankful for what he gave us. Uh, Noxie says, uh, best mass pregame show, period. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now, now I'm hyped. Now I'm hyped. Stephen A is a clown. Of course, bro. Of course. Uh, Brandon said, I was wondering why Stephen A. Smith thought Kyrie should win comeback player of the year. I guess if you thought he should retire, that's a hell of a comeback to today. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, right? It makes sense. That's, that's probably why. That's probably why he thinks comeback a player of the year as a way to switch the whole retire narrative. Like, no, bro. It's just, you just didn't know. You just didn't know basketball. It is what it is. Gina Kim said, this is why we need to have a petition to take a, a vote away from Stephen A. Smith. He's never consistent, doesn't watch games, and tries to put out fake narratives to sway other voters. How are the Knicks his favorite team, but he doesn't know who's playing for them. I know more about the Knicks than he does. Yeah, I don't know if y'all saw his uh, video from today, uh, which I'll be able to find for y'all. But he basically said that Quentin Grimes was still on the team and that Isaiah Harkinson was was a reserve. You, like, he's been starting since December. So, are you watching the game, Stephen A? Anyway, I wanted to share this with y'all right quick, if y'all don't mind watching this with me uh, let me go ahead and take me out of the frame here and let me turn this off over here let me redo this over here so check this out man this is from uh, the Dallas Mavericks uh, page and it's to push a Luka Doncic MVP bid pretty cool check it out I have a question for y'all on Luka Doncic how many MVPs will he win when you look at his career, do you see MVPs in his future? Every year, we're like, how can Luca top that season? And you know what he did this year? He topped it. He increased his PPG by four points when he averaged 30 last year. He's second in the league in assists. His team has now catapulted up to the fifth seed. When it seems like in those must-win games, he really comes out and he, he gets those must-wins for them. And he shows you that guys can still eat with me. Kyrie is still having an amazing season right next to Luka. Daniel Gafford just went on a streak where he went almost beat Will Chamberlain's record. Derek Lively has made first team all rookie next to him. It's crazy how good Luka is because he just makes everyone else around him better. Luca MVP, man. Luca MVP, man. We got to get Luca his MVP, man. Y'all put MVP in the chat if y'all think Luca Doncic should be uh, MVP this season over Nikola Jokic, over Shai Gilgis Alexander. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how. I don't know how you could kind of. Uh, I don't know how you could stand there as a basketball fan and and ignore. What Luca has done this year, you know what I'm saying? It's downright baffling. It's baffling, bro. Again, if y'all haven't hit the like, man, hit the like. It goes a long way. If y'all want the Mavs to win, if you want Luca to be MVP, if you want the Mavs uh, versus the maybe, maybe not the Clippers, maybe I just have to. If you want the Mavs to get four seed, everybody hit that like, man. We gotta get this notification out there to everybody. You know how the algorithm works. The more people the more the algorithm works. Uh, Brandon says, no hate to Grant. Uh, it had potential on paper, didn't work out, moved on immediately. Right. And that is where the Mavericks organization deserves some credit. You know what I'm saying? 
I know we don't want to give them the, the credit or whatever the case may be, but they deserve some credit, man. Uh, they, they were able to identify a mistake and they were able to pivot and make a great pivot at that and make a move, man, instead of just staying pat. You know, because what, what does staying pat get you? Not a damn thing. But Twitter's a hell of a coach. Yeah, it is, man. It is. Oh, look who we got in the building, man. We Talk Mavs. One half of We Talk Mavs. Rell's in the building. Salute. Salute right back to you, bro. Like I said, I, I put something on Twitter. I said, I wish I could tell y'all what I know. I'll leave it at that, man. I'll leave it at that. Nancy in the building said, hey, excited for PJ. Hope he does great tonight going back. Yeah. I have a uh, I have a parlay on him. What's my parlay? Let me... Let me put y'all on my parlay that I got here for him. I got him. So his line today is 13 and a half points. So I took that, right? I took over 13 and a half points. And then the other one was, uh, they had him at two and a half points uh, in the first quarter. So I took that as well. I figure he's going to, I figure he's going to get it going. Master Fame is in the building. What's up, man? <laughs> Salute to you. Salute to you. He says, yo, Joe is in the building. He says, checking in, hoping to build the algorithm. Also, Div is a troll. <laughs> when isn't Div a troll, man? When isn't he? He's all right. He's all right at trolling. He just, there's levels to it, you know? Levels to it. Uh, Luke Bryan in the building. What's up, Luke? Uh, Jokic has one player of the month and one player of the week. Luca has two players of the month and four players of the week. Choice is easy. Luca is MVP. You, I'm uh, like people are gonna run out of arguments to argue for anybody else other than Luca. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm being dead ass serious. I, I have no idea how they're going to not give him the MVP. Because he's going to have 50 wins. The Thunder are only better by, what, five games? The the Nuggets are only better by six games. Like, if we're talking about six games, like, if it was ten games, all right, cool, I get it. But they're not going to finish better than six games. And they're not going to have 60 wins. Like, we're all going to be within 50. Within 50 to 60 wins, like. It's, it's the same playing field, bro. The Mavericks will be the number two seed in the East right now. You know? The Mavs will be the number two seed in the East right now if this were the case. Jenny Kim says, I don't get how Stephen A. Smith got a vote in the first place, but Tim and JJ ain't get one. Luka would have to win a ring before he gets MVP. They should have coaches vote in, uh, MVP too. I trust them over the media. Agreed. Agreed. They, they got to develop a better panel, better criteria, and then they have to pick from said criteria, you know? Frank says, I'm calling it. Jokic is MVP. Seeing the same voters are already revealing their votes. They're already picking Jokic. Yeah, that's lame. That's lame. You know what I'm saying? Season ain't over. <laughs> Season ain't over. Luke says, uh, national media who loves votes have no idea. Just run on the agenda. They, the, the executives at ESPN uh, ESPN want to spread to get ratings. Yep. Yep. Uh, let me read this, and then we'll get started on the news and rumors. Gina Kim says, to be fair, 50 and J. Cole are very different. 50 a troll and he stands on business no matter what. I think if Cole felt that way, he should have just kept quiet. Drake still ain't say anything. And we going to be watching. We are going to watch and see what comes of this. Uh, I, saw, I saw rumors about uh, Drake put something in one of the... Uh, uh, there was like this uh, white bulletin board. And apparently, he wrote something on there uh, pertaining to quote unquote this beef right so apparently there's rumors that uh, Drake is going to drop his diss track on Thursday on Thursday so if y'all anticipating the diss track Thursday is the day man Thursday is the day alright let me get caught up here let me show y'all this and here we go alright man y'all already know what time it is man the first segment of the day is always going to be the news and the rumors. All right, 
right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as far as from yesterday, uh, Grant Afseth, a great reporter for the Dallas Mavericks, covering all things Mavericks. Uh, I know he hasn't been tweeting much, you know what I'm saying? And it's taken away from the news and rumors. Put it like this, you know, for full transparency, right? Full transparency, I am just a fan like you, all right? Like, I get all my information from Twitter. I look at analytics. I try to dig into stuff whenever I can, right? So whenever I get home from work and it's an early game, it's not much prep I could do other than relying on what I see. So a lot of the stuff I see, I see it live with you, right? So whenever Grant Asset is not tweeting, that's content that we can't read or see, you know? So, uh... And I don't know if I was the cause to why Grant is not tweeting as much on game days as he used to. Because if you look back on pregame shows earlier in the year, I could just read Grant's uh, tweets and there were all news and information, right? Anyway, full, di- full disclosure segment done. Um, as far as the Mavericks injury report, uh, Derek Lively is going to be out. Uh, Maxi Kleba is questionable. Josh Green, doubtful. Wow. With a right ankle sprain, Kleba with back spasms, and again, Derek Lively with a right knee sprain. And then Greg Brown is out for personal reasons. All right. That was as of yesterday. Let's scroll up. Let's see if we got some more information up here. Uh, oh, great. I love this one. I saw. I think I saw this tweet earlier. It said, if the Dallas Mavericks win and either the Phoenix Suns or New Orleans Pelicans lose today, they will clinch a playoff spot. The Mavs will clinch the Southwest Division title if they win and the Pelicans lose. Oh. Hmm. Do y'all want to get the 50 wins and rest or 49 wins, guarantee a top six and rest? That's tough, right? Like, do you actually do, do you want to go for 50 or do you, you know? Uh, uh, as far as uh, he has a, uh, and he had an interview with him too right here. Uh, but basically, Prior to the game, P.J. Washington uh, was asked uh, about the Charlotte game um, after being traded to the Mavericks. Uh, P.J. said it'll be a surreal moment for him, uh, I guess, playing against his old team. So, again, check out S- uh, SI.com uh, for the Mavericks when you got uh, is, uh, what is it, some stories or articles. There we go. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. Articles from Grand Asset on there. But let's move forward. Let's go up here. Here's some news right now. We got Maxi Kleba. He is available to play against the Hornets today. Um, and we got some quotes from Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd calls the midseason Mavs Hornets trade a win-win before tonight's game. Uh, he stated, when you look at the trade, it is a win-win. Grant's doing an incredible job here when you look at playing the five or playing whatever position they've asked him to play. Very PC answer. You know what I'm saying? J. Kidd praised Grant Williams for his impact with the Hornets. He's shooting the ball. He's making decisions. He's posting up and guarding the five at another at the other end. So I think he's done an incredible job since the trade. That's nice, Jason Kidd. Look at that. You know, positive, positive uh, words of uh, of encouragement. Uh, Steve Clifford with the high praise for PJ Washington, stating a uh, really high character guy, family guy, great with his kids, great dad. He's a very smart player on both ends of the floor. I think he's the kind of guy uh, when you watch him on film at night. That he does all the little things. Yep. Sure does, man. Uh, Steve Clifford, I'm assuming the coach of the Hornets, uh, stated uh, Steve wants his final game as Hornets coach at Spectrum Center to be a part of a strong close to the season. It's important to me. It's important for our owners, to our owners. It's important to management and the players uh, that we want to finish strong. Well, unfortunately, the Mavericks are coming into town, bro. And uh, I doubt I'll be able to finish strong tonight. It is what it is. But yeah, man. So... Taken from that bit of news, Maxi Kleba is back. No news on uh, Josh Green other than being doubtful. And uh, we're, we're going to keep track of that and see what happens as far as any other news that develops. And uh, we'll see, man. We'll see. Let me get back up here. Let me get back into these comments, man. Let's see how y'all doing. Let's see what y'all talking about over here. Oh, uh, where am I at? Where am I at? Dude, do y'all find these early games... Like, where do you guys stand with early games? This is 6 p.m. start time, locally for me, right? 6 p.m. Um, so that'd be 7 p.m. Eastern time. That'd be, what, like 4 p.m. West Coast time? So I wonder how y'all feel about early games. 
to me, it's like, damn, I couldn't nap. I couldn't go get a little workout in. I had to come straight home and get started, you know? Just just, just ask him. Just ask him. Uh, Jordan Willis. What's up, Jordan Willis? Uh, it says, TGK, it frustrate, frustrates me, uh, too, that Luka's being robbed of the MVP because the Mavs aren't good enough. Dallas were in the Eastern Conference. We'd be second. NBA power ranked uh, ranked five... Uh, uh, five, six best uh, NBA record. Oh, wow. Hold on. That is right, right? Then ESPN do be doing uh, power rankings. I remember they made one and the Mavs were uh, eighth. <laughs> they were eighth. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's kind of crazy, right? Let's see if I can find the most recent one. So I can show it. When was this from? Oh, that's dead. That was from the third. Oh, wow. Huh. Look at this. So this is from April 3rd. Get, get, get that ad off of my screen. Anyway, uh, yeah, they had the Mavs as, as, as fifth. Previously, they were ranked eighth. Now they got the Mavs as fifth, ladies and gentlemen. They got the Mavs as fifth. Only behind the, the, the Timberwolves, the Thunder... The Nuggets and the Celtics. <laughs> that's wild. Who's six? The Bucks, then the Clippers, then the Pelicans. And then the, that's crazy. ESPN got the Mavs as fifth best in the league. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But you know, no MVP for Luka. That's kind of stupid. That's, that's, that's stupid to me. Um, Boss Guyo, what's up? <laughs> Bro, TGK, did you see what that bomb Keyshawn said on Undisputed? I did. I did. Let's go and let's take a little little bit of a moment to watch this together. The Dallas Mavericks have been favorites tonight. How about at I Charlotte uh, over this stretch? I'm a I'm a I'm gonna change the speed on how fast they talk. Only because I don't want them to demonetize my stuff, all right? In all this glory, and uh let me pull up uh some some stuff to be able to that's crazy. On, my, on that one app, the uh, team rankings, the Mavericks are still first. That's pretty crazy. Uh, team stats. Let me just pull up some stuff, man. Let me see. Uh, scoring defense. Uh, deficit, efficiency. And... Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. The Mavs went from 21st to uh, 18th. That's crazy. All right. Let's go. Because he plays. Huh? What? Son, where'd you find this? You're not the beard. You're not the system. Bruh. You're the problem. You said so much blasphemy that it was fire for the many wrong reasons, and it was fire for the right reasons because it's going to get a reaction. You know what I'm saying? Keyshawn Johnson saying these things are downright stupid. I understand Kawhi is a great player because he can play on both sides of the court, quote-unquote. But no one in their right mind is going to say Kawhi's better than Luka. So when you go you go to the extent of saying that Kawhi is the best player on the court if they match up, you already lost me, dog. And they've been playing some. Like, what is he doing, bro? What is... I don't... Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. I, that, that's about as much as I want to show. Um... Like, and, and I think we get up in arms of this, uh, of these, you know, national media pundits. Um, and I and I always go back to this. I always want to give credit to you guys, to you, the real mass fans for life, to you, the sickos that watch this stuff all the time, to you guys who try to inform everybody about the actual Mavericks. Like, we've been... Like, just, just because I do a show doesn't make me the expert on the maps, right? I learn from y'all just as much as y'all learn from me if y'all learn anything at all from me, right? So, at the end of the day, like, we've been covering this team. We, as a collective, we've been covering this team, and we've been watching their ups, their downs. We've been able to see their flaws, their their pros, 
and their cons. We've been able to see everything that they're good at, they're bad at, what they needed. And now they got everything they needed, right? When the trade happened, I was like, "That's it. we're contenders, that's it. You could go back and watch my the, the, the trade stream against the Knicks if y'all want to go see it. I was on there saying the Mavericks are content. They, they got everything they need. So it all comes down to Jason Kidd. So everything, every time I hear a national media guy talking about the Mavs, their takes are so dated. Like they're from, their takes are dated from like November and October. Like we're, we're talking about the Mavericks in the present. We're in the moment right now talking about the Mavericks. When these national media guys, they're barely catching up. Even all the other YouTubers, like, you know, the YouTubers that cover all the teams and, and they make the, their thumbnails uh, to try to talk about Luka, but then they talk about other teams and then they get to Luka at the end of the video uh, for, for retainment purposes, right? Y'all be careful of those YouTubers, right? That if, if, they, if a YouTuber puts Luka on a cover and talks about, oh, this team's dangerous or whatever the case may be, and they don't come out talking about the Mavs until 15 minutes later in the video, that tells you everything about that YouTuber view hunting engagement hunting uh, retainment all right i don't do none of that oh damn i wanted to cuss i don't do none of that ish right what you see is what you get if my thumbnail is going to talk about this that's what i'm going to talk about i ain't gonna waste your time anyway what i'm saying is now you got youtubers all over the place now you got the national media like Stephen a like skip like everyone else right they are all starting to come around right but it's like they, they're barely catching up to the Mavericks in February. When all year they've been talking about the Mavericks as if we were still in October or December, right? Us, we're here on April 9th after the day of the eclipse. We know exactly what's going on with the Mavs. So, uh, again, not to talk about these guys. I just want to talk about us as Mavs fans, as Mavs sickles, and, as, uh, and, and talk about the Mavericks in general because... We know our stuff better than they do, honestly. And at this point, like, that's what it is. You want to talk about other Mavs content creators? I'm all for it because they know exactly what this team is. Some of us might disagree, you know? Like, if you watch Kirk and Josh Bo, there's a, sometimes I disagree with Josh Bo, But he knows his stuff. Uh, slightly biased. I, I think I've disagreed a couple of times on some takes. Like, the Dwight, the Dwight Powell takes, sometimes I disagree with him on. But either, regardless, he knows his stuff. Locked on Mavs. I, they know their stuff. Even though I disagree with Nick Angster sometimes, they know their stuff. We talk Mavs. I'm pretty sure I've disagreed with King on something or Rel on something. They know their stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like Mavericks Digest, Marcel. I, I think we disagree a little bit on Jason King, but he knows his stuff. TMP knows his stuff. Lockbox knows his stuff. Mavericks, every single content creator. DDP, all these guys, right? They know their stuff. We all have different takes. We know our team. We talk about our team. And we give better content than the actual national media guys do. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what it is at this point. That's what it is at this point. And it's fun to make fun of them, isn't it? It's fun to make fun of them. I be I be like y'all. I be putting comments in there like I'm crazy. Like I'm I be mad disrespectful in there. But look at this, man. Look at this. Kareem with a ten dollar super chat. Appreciate you, my guy. Appreciate you. I need to like for the playoffs. It is going to be so lit in here for the playoffs. I'm already like practicing the new layout, the new show for the. Play I can't wait, bro. Anyway, uh, Kareem says, "Sup, TGK? Another thirty point game from PJ tonight. I'ma call it. Keep up the great work, too, brother. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much." Damn, son. Where'd you find this? You already know, man. You already know. $10 is a crazy super chat. Again, I woke them all super chats. They ain't required, but I totally, totally appreciate them. They go a long way. They help grow the show. And again, if y'all want to be a member of the show, the member price is just 99 cents. And I do a Midnight Madness episodes every weekend whenever the Mavericks do not play. And it's a night episode. So again, uh, if, if y'all are interested in that. Um, but yeah, man, what time is it? Damn, I'll be getting away from my own content. I don't even know what the hell. Uh, let's get back in the comments real quick. Gina Kim says, uh, Cole and K-Dot have been close before, and Cole always supported him, so I think this beef made him feel a certain type of way. Yeah, I agree. I think that's what it was, too. But it's still lame to apologize. Yeah, I said it. In rap, in hip-hop, 
it is lame as hell and corny as hell to apologize after you dissed. Like, no, bro. You you can't wave a white flag. Not in hip hop. Colin in the building. What's up, Colin? Says, so looking forward to an entertaining game today. Let's lock in our spot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Uh, hold on, hold on. Johnny B. Thank you, son. Where'd you find this? My guy Johnny B gifting five TGK TV memberships. Salute to everybody that got those memberships again. Um, what, what, do the Mavericks play on Friday or Saturday? Let me see. Because if the Mavericks, what's their schedule looking like? So the Mavericks play today. And then tomorrow, then they play the Pistons on Friday night. So, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see. I'll see what's up. I'll see if I could. I'm going to think of something. They play the Pistons at 7.30 Friday night. The game will be done by like 10. The game will be done by 10. So, I'll, I'll think of something. I'm thinking either I could go like live for a post game show, right? And I could open it to everybody, but I could kind of like we talk Mavs do. I could just open it to us or should I just do Saturday like I normally do? I don't know. Y'all let me know. I'll put a poll in uh, on my community tab and yeah, y'all could tell me what I should do that day. Uh, where, where the hell am I? But Johnny B, appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. And uh, I did not forget to play your sound effect. Here is your sound effect. We done with the 90s and Jordan with no left hand, he bit trans. Garbage. Uh, Gina Kim says, Kai not a comeback player of the year because he's been the same. If anything, Exum should be comeback player of the year. Kai is clutch player of the year, but comeback is stupid to say. Facts. Exum deserves to be comeback player of the year, 1,000%. Luke says, Perkins also said Mavs have been better since THJ returning from injury. When was he injured? Did, he, did I miss something? I know exactly what you're talking about. It was from yesterday when he talked about them being, uh, what is it, the, the number one on his power rankings. I remember. I actually want to show y'all this this stupidity. Where is it at? Uh, Kendrick, Perkins, Perkins, Mavericks. I was like, what injury are you talking about, my guy? Like, excuse me? Here it goes. Here it goes. Watch this. We're going to get a third check. There we go. Oh. There we go. Put it up there. You know why? Because not only is Luka the most dangerous player in the Western Conference outside Just wait. of Jokic, Just but wait. him and Kyrie together are the most dangerous duo outside of Jokic and Murray. What they've been doing over the last months or since the All-Star break has been amazing. It's been a beautiful thing to see. Uh -huh. I love the depth that they have as well. Getting P.J. Washington. He had a 30-plus the other night. Wing dinner, all flats. I love what Gafford and Lively is doing. Tim Hardaway Jr. He just came back from injury. He's been balling again. What injury? <laughs> what injury, man? What injury, bro? And, and look, 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 look. I'm not asking for these guys to be professionals and know everything. I know it's tough. I know it's tough to have to be paid very handsomely and work for ESPN and watch NBA games. I'm pretty sure that's very tough, right? I am very jealous. Like, I would love that job. Sign me up. Pay me what Kendrick Perkins get paid and let me talk basketball. Let me actually watch. All Bro, I would have, you know, fantasy world, right? I'd be watching every single game, making sure I'm coming into work, ready to talk, and, and, and be competitive and beat everybody at these talking points. Anyway, what injury did T.A.J. come back from? I, Josh Green? T.A.J.? Injury? I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Jordan Willis says, I agree. Excellent for comeback player of the year. Went from out of the league to key role player on a competitive team. Playing clutch, too. Playing clutch, too, man. Appreciate y'all putting all those MVPs in the chat, man. That's dope, man. That's love. That's love for Luca right there. Frank says, uh, why it takes so long for the Mavs media to promote Luca? Who you telling, man? Who you telling, bro? It's like, it's like Mavs. Y'all are right there. Why don't y'all do better? You know what I'm saying? Why don't y'all do better? Uh, so let me go ahead and end this poll that we have up here. Damn. Salute to everybody voting on here. We got 78 votes. 94% of y'all saying that uh, PJ Washington will have the better outing today. So let me go ahead and end that. 
And let me put another one on here. If Mavs win 50 games. No. If Mavs seal a playoff seed with two games remaining, what should they do? Keep playing. Rest starters. Oh, no, I'm going to give you all some other options. Rest only. Uh, or um, uh, seed watch. Or no, no. Or all right. Here is the options down below, man. I put a seed down below. I mean, a seed, a poll down below. Pause uh, for y'all to participate in. Let me know what y'all think, man. Gina Kim says, uh, shout out to D Mills on the audio. He has Luca for MVP too. Hate the late MVP push, but there's still some hope. That video gave me chills though. Imagine the documentary in a few years. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think I could do a better video than Maps did. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. A certain someone, I don't want to say who, because I, I don't clout chase, but someone hit me up. They DM me. Um, they were like, "Why don't? Why didn't the Mavs use a a, 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 a Mavs content creator's voice uh, when talking about the Mavs uh, MVP argument?" Right? Oh, that's a great point. That's a great point. Why didn't they use one of our voices? You know, it is what it is. Master Fame says, "I hit the like, but I don't want four. Oh, okay, you don't want four seed. Okay. Oh, wow. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all hitting the like button tonight, man. It goes a long way. I appreciate it very much. If y'all don't mind hitting the like button, if you haven't hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, check your phone. See if you subscribe. Oh, damn, I subscribe. And if you don't want to miss out on any of these mass pregame shows, trust me, the playoffs. The playoffs, I might go live two hours before. I ain't gonna lie. I'm thinking about it. I'm going to have options. But, again, if y'all don't want to miss out on playoff pregame shows. What? Excuse me? And uh, and any any more pregame shows for the remainder of the season. Y'all definitely uh, subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Oh, oh, oh. And also, I got in touch with Missy. For those that remember Missy at the uh, pregame show that I did at live from the arena. I got in touch with her. She should be on a pregame show soon. We're gonna make that happen, all right? We're going to make that happen. So. <laughs> salute to Missy, y'all. Salute to Missy, and salute to my guy Chris for getting in contact with her, cause I wouldn't have been able to have that opportunity. So salute to salute to my guy Chris, man. Jordan said, "I know Nico has done great. Our roster is so much better now. We're prime and ready to go to win for the future and now, you know." Uh, Jing had Lou Bryan, I thought the same thing. These media dudes mentioned THJ as if he's been consistent and impactful this year. In the beginning, maybe, but after the deadline, it's been tough for THJ. Yeah, good point. Logan is uh, Logan says is Luca playing? Yeah, uh, if he if he's not on the injury report, Logan, uh, they're good to go. He wasn't on the injury report today with nothing, uh, so that that's that's a good sign. That's a great sign. Black Noir is in the building. What's up, Black Noir? You ain't put no TGK in your comment, though. Here comes the money. Here comes the money. Here, go. money talk. Here, Here comes, comes the money. money. <laughs> Appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us, bro. Gina Kim remember Kenny? He has a podcast called Numbers on the Board with D Mills, Pierre, and Mike. They picked their MVP. Uh, could we watch the clip? Pierre called Luca the best in the world. Uh, Gina Kim, if you could find a way to send that to me, I'll, I'll try to watch it for us. Oh, crap. Hold on, man. What? Damn, Master Fame. I appreciate that, bro. Master Fame, with a $15 super chat, bro. Appreciate it, man. That's that's crazy, man. I, I sometimes have to pinch myself sometimes. Uh, at this point, Luka isn't going to win MVP. I'd rather Jokic win it and lose to the Mavs in five in the Western Conference Finals. Luka for Finals MVP. Fact. You know, and, and in today's game with the whole revenge narrative, right? Looking for revenge. I think uh, all summer 24 will be pretty pretty lit, right, for Luka. Um, 
Imagine not getting an MVP, and then you beat the MVP in the Western Conference Finals, and then you go to the NBA Finals and win Finals MVP. Like, that's how it would look like. Y'all, y'all knew to give this man the MVP, and y'all still didn't, you know? So, yeah. I, I, I rock with a massive fan. I, I, I also think Jokic is going to win it, not because I think he deserves it, but because I think the national media don't know enough about basketball. I just don't think they do, bro. And that's how I feel. That's how I feel about it. You know, and I'm not going to change. Uh, Knight says, uh, what's good, broski? Oh, Damn, Knight's in the building. Son, what's up? Where'd you find this? Like I, like I said earlier, Mavs need to dominate in this game. It would be cool to get a cherry on the top with PJ Duncan on Grant Williams. Damn. Yup. <laughs> that would be pretty cool, right? Luca, uh, MVP Luca 77. <laughs> the MVP of, the, of uh, getting us in contact with, uh, uh, with uh, Miss Missy, man. So, salute, salute. Says the Mavs game at 6 p.m. Yep, at 6 p.m., bro. Early, early. Oh, we got a new member. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Appreciate you, Noxie. Now, now, Noxie, imagine this, right? Imagine the Mavericks are in the playoffs. We win a game. And it's a Friday night. And then I go live, like, late at 11 p.m. And it just be a party, bro. There's going to be a party in there, man. Uh, again... Uh, appreciate you one, once again, man. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun summer with the Mavs and playoffs. I, I see good things coming. Again, for those interested about being a member, let me show you a quick little promo of what this is. You want it? Show me my opponent. Show me my opponent. Let's take a look at the uh, Charlotte Hornets and see what the hell we got going on today. Uh, I know I've delayed this as much as possible because there's really not much to talk about the Hornets. I ain't gonna lie. No disrespect, man. I'm just saying. Anyway, uh, their point guard is uh, Michich. Mishish, uh, the shooting guard straight man, small forward, Brandon Miller, power forward, Miles Bridges, and their center is Nick Richards. Their second unit features uh, Davis Bertans, former Mav, uh, Poku Vetsky, Brandon Miller, oh, I already said that name, and Grant Williams. Grant Williams is not a starter for the Hornets. And yet, and yet we're upset that we traded him. All right, anyway. Uh, all right, let's go straight to the stats. I don't want to waste too much time on reviewing the 19 and 59 Hornets. Miles Bridges leads a team with a uh, 21.3 points per game. Nick Richards averages 8.2 rebounds per game. Miles Bridges uh, averages uh, 3.4 assists. That is crazy. Uh, averages 1.0 steals, and then Nick Richards averages 1.1 blocks. Again, LaMelo Ball is out. Terry Rozier was traded. Brandon Miller is uh, the third, second best scorer on his team. 17.2 points per game, about four rebounds. Uh, Grant Williams, he's averaging 13.9 points for them, about five rebounds and three assists uh, in his minutes over there. Uh, let's go all the way down. Let's take a look at the three-point percentage. This is just a mess. I ain't going to lie. Uh, what is Grant Williams averaging for them? So, Grant Williams and Davis Bertans, they are both averaging 37.8% from the three-point line. That's pretty good for Grant Williams because uh, for the Mavericks, it was, it was pretty bad there for a second. Um, with the whole narrative uh, of this potentially being a, a revenge game for Mr. Grant Williams. Uh, I want to see. So, for the season, he's been shooting 37.7%. percent Can we see... Can we see his stats with the Mavs? Oh, uh, stats. I want to see if we can see some. All right, so with the Mavs. Yeah, with the Mavs, he shot 37% as well. I don't know what happened. Because for like a month there, he was shooting horrible. For a month there, he was shooting horrible. 
Uh, I'm not going to look in the advanced uh, uh, analytics numbers for, for this team, for the Hornets, because I don't feel like I don't feel like it. I want to look at the Mavericks. The Mavericks should beat this team, bro. I'm not even playing. Like, I know people talk about, ah, oh, don't overlook a team. I'm not overlooking them. I'm just saying the Mavericks should beat this team. Um, Y'all want to see one of the greatest 15 game five man lineups? Uh, this is it right here Kyrie Irving, Derrick Jones Jr., PJ Washington, Luka Doncic, and Daniel Gafford. 15 games, 151 minutes, an offensive rating of 114, and a defensive rating of 97.6. A defensive rating of 97.6. A net rating of 17.2. All right, that's, that's, that's something right there, right? Let's, let's take a look at all the teams. All the teams, all right? I want y'all to see something. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Select it. All right, we're going to refresh it. Since it won't select. You know. Yeah, there it goes. All right. Uh, let's see. What is the best net rating? And we want to break this down by minutes. Um, get this ad out of my face, bro. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me go to 150. Mm. No, I need minutes to. Never mind. I, th I thought I knew how to do this stuff, but I guess uh, apparently I don't. Okay. All right. There it goes. There it goes. So these are um, five man lineups with over 150 minutes. So the Mavericks, the Mavericks have one of the best ones, bro. They're right here. Uh, so the Curry, Thompson, Draymond Green, Andrew Wiggins, and Kaminga, they're 18.1. The Cavs have a good one. The Pacers had a good one. The Knicks had a good one, or they have a good one. That's not bad, actually. 31. And uh, the 76ers have a good one when Embiid is out there. So, yeah, so Mavs have one of the top ones. Just just, just something so y'all can see. All right, man, enough of that. Enough of that, man. Enough of that. Should we do it? Should we do it? Y'all want to coach with Jason Kidd? Let's go and coach with Jason Kidd. Let's get the vibes going up in here, man. Yeah, I'm not the savior here. I'm not playing. I'm watching, just like you guys. That's just the season. No one's dying. So write some positive shit. I just asked you a question. And I'm giving you a fucking answer. Like, I'm like, why didn't my background change? Hold on. There we go. <laughs> all, right. all right, all right. So I get for being unprepared here. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, so for today, for today, uh, the Mavericks have a unique opportunity to go against. Hold on, computer, turn on the light. Computer, make the light white. There we go, see, now it looks better. All right, anyway, we have a unique opportunity here for the Dallas Mavericks to continue this winning streak, especially against the Charlotte Hornets. Now, what is my game plan for the Dallas Mavericks when it comes to what they need to do against these Hornets? It is a revenge game for uh, Grant Williams. I'm pretty sure he's going to come out. Being a little bit aggressive with Luca, I do. I ain't gonna lie, I do have a little bit of concern like that. So, coaching staff, Luca, watch out for Grant Williams. He gonna try to get under your skin. Unless y'all don't have beef, then he might be friendly. We don't know, but until we know, we need to keep our eyes on Grant Williams just to, just to see in case what he does. I'm not calling him a dirty player, but he might do some. So we need to keep our eye on that. I think when it comes to the Mavericks. 
as far as attacking the Hornets, they're going to play small tonight. Grant Williams averages about 38 minutes for them. We've seen what people do against him when he's on the court. And if it's me, the Mavericks shall isolate that man. Isolate Davis Bertans. Isolate Mitchich. Isolate Nick Richards. You can have your way with this team. Have it your way. Burger King. Burgers, right? Have it your way. The Mavericks just need to expose these guys. I'll score these dudes. Get to the point where you are up by a substantial amount of points. So you can have the rest of the night off. I don't want to overlook this team. All I'm saying is we need to come out here with some damn effort and get this damn win. Simple as that, man. Simple as that. Simple game plan. Go knock it out. Lukai, y'all get the rest from the second half of the third quarter all the way to the rest of the game. And get ready. Because if you don't win this game early and you don't dominate this game, guess what you got to do? You got to face the heat tomorrow. The Mavericks have to face the heat tomorrow. So they need to lock in. And we need to get this done. Defensively, who on that team scares you other than Bridges? Lock them up, bro. Lock them up. P.J. Washington, this is your day. This is your game. Go off and go get us 25 and put these dudes to sleep. Anyway, man, we out of here. It is coaching with kids. Yeah, I'm not the savior here. I'm not playing. I'm watching just like you guys. That's just the season. No one's dying. So write some positive shit. I just asked you a question. And I'm giving you a fucking answer. I feel like I am disrespecting the Hornets. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I feel like I'm disrespecting them. Just a little bit, man. Just a little bit, man. Oh, man. That's crazy. Um, where we at? Where we at? Uh, J- Jazzy John, what do you wish you could tell us? I'll say this much. The information I got today, it is so exclusive. I'll leave it at that. By the end of April, you will know what it is. By the end of April, you should know what it is. And by the end of the April, I'll show you what I got. Put it like that. It'll all, it'll all culminate together. Uh, Jordan Willis says, I think a better way for MVP would be have coaches do a fantasy draft style pick out of anyone. Who do you who do you get for your team? Any GM that would not take Luca as number one is incompetent. You know, you know what time it is. Appreciate you, bro. Jenny Kim says, "Don't forget, Luca was raw was raw player of the week when they gave it to uh, Joker because he played one more game, but Luca had that crazy week and shot against uh, the Nets while we were first or second seed." I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. Luca should have a lot more of these. Um, and man, salute to all the likes, man. What the hell? Salute to all the likes, bro. What the hell? Fifty one. That's crazy. Thank y'all, guys. Thank y'all so much. That's that's crazy. Uh, Frank says, The Mavs reporter Brad Townsend revealed April 16th to the 19th is when voters have to officially submit their votes for the awards. And I'm glad they're they're taking their time with it. I'm glad they're taking their time with it. Uh, Benz Lewis says, uh, Twitter a crazy place. Folks saying Brunson better than Kyrie all time. All time? Nah, man. We can't, we can't do that. We can't do that. Not all time, bro. Uh, Benjamin says, I hope Suns win because we get close to fourth. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, let me see. Suns games. The Suns play the Clippers tonight, by the way. And they play them back-to-back, consecutive games. So if the, if the Suns could win two and the Mavs win tonight and tomorrow, watch out. The Mavs will get in position for that fourth seed. Uh, Jenny Kim says, uh, TGK, no rest unless we hurt. Uh, get as many wins as we can. They said uh, with a Mavs win and Pels, uh, Pels or Suns loss, we get clinched the top 60. Facts. We can. Pasquale is in the building. What's up? What's up? What's up? Let me. Uh, let me... He said, let's go, Mavs. Yes, sir. Let's go, Mavs. Uh, Gina Kim says, uh, don't forget, we Suns fans tonight. I heard Harden was in at shoot around, so he might not play. If he doesn't, I hope the Suns get an easy win. That would be a lot better. Early games, earlier games are better. I agree. I want late games on Friday nights. Those are the best ones. Uh, Jordan Williams, what's good, bro? We moved up in the power rankings. We did. We top five now. What? Uh, what? Excuse me. Jenny Kim says, thoughts on Kawhi. You think they just resting him to be precautionary and play him against us? I feel like it'll be like last year when Kawhi played uh, 
game one and two and was out. Uh, Suns versus Clip. Yeah, they're they're not even announcing anything. They're just saying he's out. So who knows what they're doing? Who knows? Though they're playing with their food. Johnny B T G K. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, he said, I have to mute now because I don't give a F what Keyshawn has to say. Don't want to hear his voice again. I feel you. I feel like they both resting and uh, Kawhi is actually a little injured. Yeah, he's having some knee issues. Pasquale says, love the 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. games. Those late ones get me in trouble with sleep. But there are two 9 p.m. games tonight, and we need one of them to lose to clinch this top six seed. Yep. Yep, we're getting there, man. Uh... Jordan, another interesting thing I discovered is Luka is ranked around 15th in rebounds, but everyone ranked above him are centers and power forwards. He's really, really good at rebounding. That's why he deserves to be mentioned with MVP. Luka has more points than Jokic. He has more assists than Jokic. He has more three-pointers made than Jokic. And he and Luka takes the worst three-point shots, quote-unquote, with the step back, and he's second in the NBA in threes made, ladies and gentlemen. Luka is second in the NBA with threes made. And he takes step back shots every time. Yeah, you know how crazy that is? Nane says, uh, how about Kyrie winning Western Conference Player of the Week? Pretty awesome. That is awesome, and I forgot to mention. <laughs> Shout out to Kyrie, man. 45, 48 points against the Rockets. What an amazing game. I, I ain't gonna lie. I was happy when Exum hit that shot to send in overtime, but I'm glad we didn't waste the Kyrie Masterclass. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that embrace at the end with them hugging, like, if that didn't make you feel something, I don't know what will, man. I was very happy with what they did. Jim Kim said, uh, everyone had us out the playoffs and barely making the play-in uh, the beginning of the season. That alone should help Lucas MVP's MVP because no one believed in us. Yep. They gave us a D grade. Remember that? Ultra in the building. Let's go, man. What's up, Ultra? What's up? Uh, if you don't mind, let me skip down to the more up-to-date comments and work my way back up. Let's see anything y'all talking about. Oh, it was just right there. We're good. We're good. Uh, all right. I think I know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen. We know what time it is. It is time for game predictions. Let's get it. A- All right, man, let's see what the Mavericks are favored in this matchup today. The Mavericks right now are favored by 12 and a half on the road. That is wild. The Mavericks are favored by 12 and a half. Damn, I ain't got my background over here. The Mavericks are favored by 12 and a half. Uh, total implied score of 224 over under total score. Hey, man, it looks like the Mavericks are going to handle business today. I figure the Mavericks are going to win by a larger amount. But if y'all don't mind getting your score predictions in the comments below, we got five minutes. Get your score predictions in the comments below. Let's get it, man. Hey. 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 Huh. Man, why the beat snappier today? About the... I don't want to rap, man. Hold on. Fucking <laughs> ass. It's the, hold on. I, I, let me think of the score. Hmm. Let me try score predictions down below. I think I got it. I think I got my score prediction. It's the... I got the Mavericks. 129 to the Hornets. 101. The Mavericks should be able to come out here and dominate this team. If they don't, I'll be very, very concerned with our grit. But they have not proven me otherwise. So, I totally believe in what we're going to be able to do uh, tonight. I feel like G-Will is going to try to get under Luka's skin, but none of that is going to work. Remember the story how Luka cooked him? We might see that tonight, but PJ getting his revenge game. I hope so. I hope so. Uh, Nick says, will Grant Williams try to hurt someone tonight? I don't lie. I'm a little fearful. I'm a little fearful. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Pasquale says, yes. By the way, yes, I did repeat that sound drop. It was one of those 9 p.m. game nights. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, TGK, Kai and KP winning players of the week is a foreshadowing of the NBA Finals. Ooh, good point. I mean, it might be something. Pasquale says 131-102. Ain't no way. Pasquale, ain't no way. Ain't no way. I said 129-101. We are right there. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Jenny Kim says, do you think uh, we'll be favored in every matchup from now on? Maybe not the Heat, but other games. I think we'll still be favored against the Heat. I don't think they're better than us at all. I don't think the Heat are better than us at all, bro. You know? I think we're good. I think we'll be favored the rest of the way. Nick says, 127-103. Mavs, Lukai, rest the fourth quarter. That's that's That would be best. That would be best. Word you heard on the street is uh, Clippers want to duck the Mavs. They might drop two, uh, these two. Damn. I would avoid the Mavs, too. I ain't gonna lie. We might get a Mavs and Suns first-round matchup. That's crazy. Martin Blake says, uh, Mavs 140, Hor Hornies 70. That has no business <laughs> being on the floor. I like it. I like it. I, get, I see what you're doing. I like it. Uh, Mavs 117, Hornets 107. TMP. 10-point victory. I want a 20-point victory, TMP. Come on now. Give me get, give me more points on that. Uh, MVP, Lucas 77, Mavs 111.99. That's only a 12-point victory. I need 20 points, bro. I like this. Like Div. Like like this right here. 140 to 98. Good job, Div. That is exactly the score I want to see. <laughs> Uh, Gina Kim says 123-109 Mavs shouldn't be too hard I still have some PTSD from last year But DSJ not playing for them anymore So we good Hornets will put up a good fight Fight though especially B, B Miller We got this It is a revenge game right from last year It is definitely a revenge game for us uh, Bay Zacatraz what's up I think Mavericks definitely resting the starters In the last two games And giving Green and Hardy the light To shoot whatever they want I hope so I hope so Jenny Kim's Lukai Masterclass and PJ Revenge Game. We're holding them under. Uh, Lukai should be resting the third and hopefully the rest of the game. Oh, by the third, hopefully. Got it, got it. You know what time it is. Toby from Germany. Hey, Toby, what up, man? All right, man. They're about to tip off. I'm about to get up out of here, man. It's been your boy, TJK. It's been a pleasure as always. Again, leave a like on the way out. Sub to the channel, whatever. All that good stuff. I'll catch y'all on We Talk Mavs Playback TV. We Talk Mavs, Playback TV. I'll be in there trolling and doing all my sound bites. Again, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Y'all have a good night, man. Let's get this Mavericks dub. It's been your boy TGK, and we are out. <laughs>